In this ICT Basics video, I'm going to cover the concept of the low resistance liquidity run, which is the other half of the liquidity run equation. So to start with, let's define what is liquidity. Uh, in ICT terms, liquidity is equivalent to stop orders. Stop orders reside above uh, short-term highs, short-term lows, long-term highs, long-term lows. Basically, stop orders reside above old swing highs and stop orders reside below old swing lows. Whether those are short term or long term, that's how ICT defines liquidity. That's how I use the term liquidity. Am I aware that's not the formal definition of liquidity? Yes, I am. So before we talk about what is a low resistance liquidity run, we first need to define what is liquidity. Liquidity is stop orders, basically. It's where stop orders reside, which is above old highs and below old lows. That's, that's always where stop orders or liquidity resides. Um, previous days, highs have a lot of liquidity above them. Previous weeks highs, previous weeks lows. Those are, those are good places to find um, liquidity. So what is a run? Well, a run is basically just a swing. It's just another way of describing a move from point A to point B. So if you have point A here, this low up to point B, this high, that's a run, okay? Now, technically speaking, as I've talked on this channel before, a sweep is just a, a short move above an old high, whereas a run is a, like, a more full move above it. But just call basically a, a swing is a run, okay? These, these are not like hard and fast rules. A swing is a run, a run is a swing. So it's just from point A to point B. Now, what does it mean for uh, a run on liquidity? Okay, it's, it's when price is running towards an old high or an, or, or an old low. Um, and what does it mean to be low resistance? Well, guys, again, these things are a little bit subjective in the sense that, you know, what you consider to be absolutely low resistance and, and what someone else might consider to be low resistance can be a little bit different. Um, but I, it should be contrasted with a definitively high resistance liquidity run. So, for example... We go from these lows, we get up to this high, and look how we did it, right? Big time retracements, lots of resistance. We run on these prior short-term highs, and we're drawing up into this inefficiency up here. Um, but notice that the market, boy, does it not want to do that very quickly, right? That's a high resistance liquidity run, all right? These are difficult. These are, you might need to more actively day trade, or you just need to use wider stops, and you need to be more confident in your day trading, okay? So these are, these are difficult price signatures, the high resistance liquidity run. Now, what's the low resistance liquidity run? It is the day trader's best friend. Okay? In other words, it is where you make most of your money or where you're comfortable. You know, trading is exciting. Trading is exhilarating. Low resistance liquidity run is we're going from point A and we're going to point B. We're running on an old low, for example, and we're just doing it in a straight line or mostly a straight line, right? You can see that there were long wicks, so the market was kind of faking you that it would turn back higher, but, but it really it was a pretty low resistance run if you look here on the five minute. Okay, that is your best friend. Um, just your absolute best friend. You love these low resistance liquidity runs. Um, let's show you some more examples. So let's say we had a low here. Okay, we had a low there. Price makes a high and bang, we just we just run right at it. Uh, we had one little order block formed here and then we just ran straight for that low, okay? That is a low resistance liquidity run. We've had multiple low resistance liquidity runs um, tonight. This run higher was pretty low resistance, just straight up. Uh, even the run lower was pretty much straight down. Um, very little retracement. Low resistance liquidity runs are your absolute best friend, and it's really what trading is all about. Um, you're not always going to have them, especially when the market's being difficult, when it's when it's being slow, it's choppy, whatever. Um, but you should know what is a low resistance run on liquidity as compared to a high resistance run on liquidity. The low resistance run on liquidity is where is where you're making uh, is where you're making your money, and you're happy with day trading, and and life is good. So. In this video, guys, we covered the low resistance run on liquidity. I advise you to go through my ICT basics playlist and go watch my video on high resistance runs on liquidity as well so you understand 
You know, the market is doing the same thing in either way. It's, it's whether it's high resistance or low resistance, it's still running on liquidity, it's running to inefficiencies. But the manner in which it does that, it goes from point A to point B, uh, is either high resistance or low resistance, and you should be able to tell the difference between the two. Okay, guys, in this ICT Basics video, we covered the low resistance liquidity run. I advise you to go find my ICT Basics video on the high resistance liquidity run. Bye-bye.